this this will honestly be the deciding factor of whether or not I end up streaming a Phoenix Wright game eventually. <laughs> oh. oh. Why is there flowers here? April 16th. Unknown. This is Detective Ernest Hunt's office. Uh, I'm away from the office. Please leave a message. Detective, this is Chandra Lear, the witness from yesterday. I lied yesterday. There is more going on than I was letting on. I made a terrible mistake. I need your protection. I think my... <gasps> oh no, she passed out. Chandra, please forgive me. Is that going to be on the answering machine? April 16th, 8 a.m. Azure City Police Precinct number 5. Station lobby. Yeah, it's a very tiny phone. Or is she giant? Justina. This is it. My first real job. As a clerk. Sup? My name is Justina Smith. I'm a newly hired police clerk, clerk working at Azure City's 5th Police Precinct. Hello, when I told my parents, they seemed to think I was signing on as a cop. I'd rather avoid that sort of dangerous life. I am more content just doing paperwork. Not that I'm afraid of action. Everyone says I'm too headstrong. Still, I'm really nervous. Stay calm, Justina. All you have to do is your job. Do it well. Keep your head low. Here we go. Wait. Where where am I supposed to go? Maybe there's someone around here I can ask? Uh, excuse me, sir. Sorry, miss. I'm in a hurry. Wait, I work here. I mean, well, today is my first day. I'm... Here for the clerk role? Oh! In that case, I'm Detective Ernest Hunt. Unfortunately, that's about all the pleasantries I can give you right now. Something important just occurred. I need to get going. Uh, Miss Earl is our senior clerk here. Go uh, speak with her for your first assignment. Your station should be in the back. Time's ticking. Gotta run. Jeez. Someone's in a hurry. Well, at least I know where my desk is now. Time to meet my supervisor. Ernest Tunt has been added to your profiles. Okay. <laughs> I should have named him Mike Hunt. <laughs> Not Ernest Tunt. I don't know. I feel like yeah, Ernest Tunt is still solid. Uh, I need a water. Too much dialogue. Ah, uh, needed H2O. Excuse me, I'm looking for Miss Earl. All right. If you're here to speak with an officer, please wait in the lobby. What? Uh, no, I'm not a civilian. Uh, well, maybe I am. Does an office job here make me a civilian? Office job? Can I see some ID? Uh, I think I brought that with me. You can view collected evidence at any time by checking the case file screen. And so I have Justina's ID. To present evidence, select a piece of evidence from the list and then press that. Okay. Present. Here you go. Aha! Perfect. You're the new girl. I'm Sue P. Earl. What? That feels like it should be a joke name. Let me know what you heard. Everyone, let me know what you heard. Yeah, Sue P. Earl, right? <laughs> She's so soupy. <laughs> Welcome to your new office. I'm Justina Smith. It's a pleasure to meet you. 
I'm the head and uh, before today, the only clerk here at this branch. However, this is not the time for chit chat. Today is a busy day. We need you working right away. I accidentally right clicked and that opened a menu apparently. There is a police report from yesterday that I need you. Wait. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. That gave me a moment of what the fuck is on my screen. There's a police report from yesterday that I need you need to file. <laughs> Something came up recently that requires my full attention. I trust you can ham handle a simple filing job? Yes, ma'am. Make sure the all, all the information matches up correctly. Once you're done, let me know. I don't know why everyone's in a rush, but I can ask her about it later. Right now, I need to get to work. I mean, she's in a rush because she's literally the only clerk here since this place has been founded. All right, Soupy is here. I'm gonna add to my profiles. Well, it's as basic as a workstation can be. So much for getting trained. Hopefully I can figure this out myself. Let's see. There's the detective summary, a witness statement, and a couple of pieces of evidence. So the thief's paths. Footprints found at the crime scene spacing the prints indicate the thief walked calmly towards and away from the safe. The window the thief entered it locked, unlocks only from the inside. Money from Klaus Orphanage was stored here. Half was stolen, no evidence of tampering. I need you need. We all need police files. That's what that's what we all need. Uh, case summary updated. The summary contain section contains the detective uh, brief on the case as well as a log of what you've accomplished during the case. Done and done. Looks like everything is here. Let's see. I should look over everything real quick before I file them. Right. Now for that witness statement. Good thing the detective recorded it. I got a sneeze. Ah. Oh, we're in the bedroom. We're filming in the bedroom. Perfect. Oh no, I got a sneeze. Oh God. Ah. Please. I. <laughs> ah. The camera is on. We can begin when we're ready. Hey, that sounds like the detective I spoke to earlier. This must be his case then. Can you provide your name and occupation for the record? Certainly. I'm Chandra Lear. I work as a maid at the Aubank estate. Aubank? Maybe Aubank. Maybe it's Eubank. It might be Eubank. Uh, I certainly appreciate the cooperation. Now, can you describe the events that took place earlier? Of course. A duster would probably be more effective than cotton candy, but that's her snack while she works. How else is she supposed to snack while she works? Maybe this has filled with mood enhancers. You never know. I was cleaning the hallway when I heard a noise come from this room. I went inside and saw someone taking money out of the safe. I couldn't get a great, a good look at his face, but he was clearly a six foot tall man carrying lockpicks. When he saw me, he took some of the money and ran up to the window making his escape. I couldn't catch him, so I checked the safe. Half the money inside was stolen. I called the police to report a crime shortly afterwards. I see. It's all coming together. Oh yeah, everything's come together. Seems to me like it was a simple robbery. Wait a second. Something about what she just said seems off. Did she just lie? I need to look over her statement again. I'm sure there's a problem somewhere. When I find a line that I think has a problem, I can press dispute to present evidence. 
Submitting is as easy as clicking present on the evidence that contradicts that statement. I won't leave this computer until I find this contradiction. Interrogation time. Found earlier statement. Just robbery. Okay, you heard a noise coming from the room, sure. Went inside, saw someone taking money out of the safe. Couldn't get a good look. Clearly six feet tall with lock picks. Ran to the window. Okay, so there's two things I have a problem with. One would be the lock picks. But I think the one, the earliest one, would be ran to the window. So I'm going to dispute that. The thief's path. Walk calmly towards and away the safe. The only thing is, like, the thief entered, it lo unlocks only from the inside, which is why would why would you need lockpicks for that? And the safe is, a, like, a combination safe. No evidence of tampering. So, like, eh. I, I think I'm going to go for this. She said the thief ran away, but the evidence shows that the thief walk calmly walked, as if he wasn't afraid of being caught. Why would she lie about that? I should let Miss Earl know what I found. Chandrelier has been added to profiles. Miss Earl! What is it? It's just the witness's statement. It doesn't add up. I was reviewing the case file and I think she lied. She told me the detective that the thief ran in a hurry. The evidence seems to indicate the opposite, that the thief just walked calmly. Let me see the file. I see. I think you're right. I, I don't know why Soupy has an emo cut, but like, it's powerful. I like it. It's, it does give me business vibes when it's not all black and she doesn't have black eyeliner, you know? <laughs> uh, the police need to speak with Miss Lear again. Clearly didn't see the thief. I, I, I just organized the papers. She just tosses them behind. I'm sorry to say that would be impossible. Impossible? Why? About an hour ago, we got a call from the Eubank Estates. Damn it, Soupy. Why are you doing this to me? The thief returned this morning. And this time, he attempted to take Miss Lear's life. What? Thankfully, she survived. She's currently in a coma with a life-threatening head injury. Around the time you showed up, our lead de detective went to investigate. I've been processing the paperwork over the call. Lead detective? You mean Detective Hunt? I see you've already met? Yes, that's him. So what do we do now? Well, call a detective and inform him. He can decide what to do next. Until then, Miss Lear's... Keep Miss Lear's statement with you. You might need it later to disprove the lockpicking. But why would the thief return to the scene of the crime? There has to be more to it. I think I'll speak with the detective when he gets back. Yep, Miss Lear's statement. The th she claimed the thief was a tall man holding lockpicks. That is just, it's not going to sit well with me. Detective Hunt has returned. I hope my tip hep helped him. It might have been useful. Excuse me, Detective Hunt. I'm busy right now. Hold on. You're that, you're that new girl, right? The one Miss Earl told me found that clue. Yes, I'm Justina Smith, sir. Looks like our newest member already wants to be out on the front lines. You misunderstand, sir. Standing in front of armed criminals is not what I signed up for. In any case, maybe you can help me. Help you? How? You'd use your help getting a confession from our thief. Follow me to the interrogation room. Oh, wait, what? And he's gone. How am I on earth supposed to help him? April 16th. 10.50 a.m. There you are. 
Chief wants us to start the interrogation right away. Now, hold on just a minute. I'm a police clerk. What do you want me to do? Write down everything they say? No. I want you to help me interrogate the suspect. Interrogate? I don't know how to interrogate someone. You're a police officer. How can you not know how to interrogate someone? Because I'm not a police officer. I was hired to do paperwork. You like the bitty laugh? I like the bitty laugh, too. The bitty laugh is fun. Up, 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 up. Paperwork is the true life of a police officer. You'll do fine. But I feel a little underqualified to be in charge of an interrogation. This guy laughs a lot. I'm the one in charge. You're there to help. Besides, you're young. You being there might uh, make the suspect lower their guard. Well, I guess I'll help as much as I can. All you need to do is listen to their sa statements. If you find a flaw, point it out. It's exactly the same as what you did on the computer. Hey, he's laughing it up. He's a real yuckster. Right. I can use the dispute button when I find a lie, right? Correct. I don't know what that is, but you sound enthusiastic. But what if their statement is perfect? As long as the suspect is hiding something, there will always be a flaw somewhere. You'll just have to find those flaws until the truth comes out. You sound like you expect the suspect to lie. I do, and you should too. Sometimes the flaw might not be immediately obvious. You can use the question button to ask the suspect for more information. It might reveal some useful additional information. If you prefer things the hard way, you don't use it at all. It's completely optional. So I use the dispute button when I spot a lie and the question button when I want clarification. Got it. See, you're a natural interrogator. We need an ironclad confession. So we need to find all the flaws in the suspect's statement. Easier said than done. Wait, am I even allowed to go in there? And save any further questions for the suspect? Uh, he sure is impatient. And possibly doing this illegally. It took me 10 minutes to enter the room because I was just an anxiety beam. So, this is the inside of an interrogation room. Um... Lucky I'm here on the police side. And on the other side... Hello? Oh, do you do some crochet? There's some crochet needles you got going on there? On the other side is our... Thief? I thought the witness said they were male. Sorry to keep you waiting. I had to grab my assistant. Since then was I his assistant? He's new here, so... Let me, ca let me catch her up to speed. As part of your arrest, you agreed to completely cooperate with us. And you're going to hold up your end of the deal, right? On my honor as a police officer. Then... Yours better open themselves for the greatest plan of the entire criminal underground. Why does my hand keep going? It's... I swear to God, it's thinking on my t-shirt, which just has an at on it, is my hand. And that's kind of sad that it thinks that my hand is as pale as an at -AT. Anyway. All she did was go through a window. I wish more criminals had your enthusiasm. Please, state your name for us. I am the great and cunning... Hanno Overyor. Hanno Overyor has been added to your profiles. No lies so far. You're doing great. Keep it up. <laughs> oh, oh, she did the thing. She did the thing. I, I, I haven't played Phoenix right, but I know the ba. <laughs> ba. <laughs> Stop patronizing me. I stole from the wealthiest men in the city. And I arrested you for the crime in less than 24 hours. 
But by all means, keep bragging. Now come back. And let's continue. You're currently only being charged for the crime of larceny, so we... Hold on. What about... All in due time. We have a criminal giving a full confession. That takes priority. What's he getting at? She committed to the assault too, right? Why is he not charging with that as well? Because she doesn't know shit about the assault, and that's going to be one of the clues. He's going to slip up about it. Wait, who's he calling Miss Assistant? <laughs> as I was saying, all we need is your official statement. Are you ready, Miss Assistant? Ready as they'll ever be. Then, Miss Yor, you may begin at any time. I know over your statement, a theft I'm proud of. Around 4.30 p.m., I stuck into the Eubank State. I spotted the safe. It's inside stuffed with treasure. I used my trusty lock picks to open the window, and I made my way inside. Well, there's one lie. Oh, wait, sorry. Actually, let me just hear out the rest of it. I pilfered the safe of his contents, grabbing about half the money inside. Can't believe it took the entire day to find me. Thought the police were better than that. Yep. Uh... Nope, oh, where is it? Where is it? Open the window. We did the thing! <laughs> Miss Yor, you couldn't have opened the window. The window in the room can only open from the inside. No lockpicks could you, <laughs> you around that. <gasps> I, I can explain. You see, the weather was really warm that day. The maid opened the window. I just got the details mixed up. Let me explain. Anna, over your statement, a theft I am proud of, part two. When I snuck into the estate, the window was already open. So, I simply climbed in. That's when I spotted the safe. I used my trusty tools to open up the safe. I just mixed up the window and the safe. And dispute that. The safe, no evidence of tampering. <laughs> Go smack my desk. Miss Yor, how did you open up the safe? You said you opened it with your lockpicks, but there's no sign of tampering. It can only be opened with a code. Your tools would be useless. <gasps> I never said that my tools were lockpicks. I mean, my greatest tool of all, patience. I just waited for the maid to open up the safe. I robbed it after she left. Miss Yor, I doubt both of your statements are true. You're saying that Miss Lear opened both the safe and the window and then just left the room? Uh, yes. Detective, that doesn't make any sense. That would be the biggest coincidence ever. But not impossible. Unfortunately, we don't have a way to counter her claim right now. All right, Miss Lear opened the safe and left the room. I don't know her reasons. I only took advantage of them. But now, something is wrong with her story. I know it. There has to be another way to draw out the truth. Miss Yor, can you explain the purpose of your lockpicks? Oh, you mean these? Well, they pick locks, as the name implies. I, I just keep them in my hair for keeping. You just said that you waited for the maid to open the window in the safe. So then, why were you carrying lockpicks? I have a good reason for that. <laughs> One that Miss Tacky Green Suit will accept. It's not as tacky as an orange jumpsuit you'll be wearing. 
now, now. This is not the time for colorful quips. Please, Monsieur, tell us your story. Further interrogation. Hand over your statement. Tools for a great heist. The lock picks were indeed needed to enter the estate. There's a gate with a padlock that I picked in order to get onto the property. I placed my lock picks in my hair afterwards. I had no need for them once I got to the window. And dispute that. Uh, statement. Tall man holding lock picks. Miss Yor. Did you know that Miss Lear gave a recorded statement? So, in her statement, she said that the thief was a six foot tall male and had lock picks. Her description of you was wrong. There was one key detail that, of you that she mentioned that you had lock picks. If she only saw you during her your escape, she would have seen them as hairpins. Something happened in that room. It wasn't a simple robbery. <gasps> I can explain. No, please, allow me. Earlier today, I saw that the footprints you left in the room showed you walking away from the stake. Normally, I would expect a thief like yourself to simply run away. One possibility is that she lied about seeing you. However, if she knew about the lockpicks, then she clearly had seen you. Maybe she saw that I picked the lock of the gate to get onto the property. We only found that lock after we arrived and interviewed her. Miss Assistant, do you know why Miss Lear was in the room with our thief? The truth is... The two knew each other. This whole time, you said you wanted a plea deal. Yet, that was never the reason. This is all meant to hide your relationship with Miss Lear. That's exactly it. After getting your tip of the footprint, I came to a conclusion. The thief must have been someone Miss Lear knew. Also, yeah, rocking out to the music. Loving it. So, I asked the Eubank family about her friends, and your name came up. Getting your bank records was the hard part, but that's how I proved that you were a How'd you get her bank records? I have my connections. Anyway, it's clear that you hid your relationship to keep Miss Lear from being arrested as well. The two of you are working together. Uh, you're, you're mistaken. If we're working together, why wouldn't she just let me right through the front door? She wouldn't even need me. She could have robbed the safe herself. I think my assistant can explain that, can't you? Why did the two of them stage the robbery as they did it? Hmm. They wanted the police to know a thief stole the money? <laughs> or Miss Lear couldn't leave the estate. One of these, it's these two. I'm gonna go with this one. Correct again. Nailing it. And we did get involved. So, their plan was to point... Yeah. The plan at that point was successful. They knew that the money was being stolen would make the news. And if Miss Lear says a male thief stole the money, it would throw us off the investigation. We trust Miss Lear, of course. Yeah. <laughs> keep smacking the desk. But unless you want to throw the full extent of the law at you, we need your real confession now. You win. No great thief. The robbery might not have been very great, but we did try to steal away the truth. Why is she in a coma now? Yeah, that's going to be the bigger answer. I can't believe you. How can you crack jokes at a time like this? Lighten up, Miss Assistant. We won this round. 
You can have some fun now. You haven't taken this seriously at any point. Yes, you are. We have a few questions to ask you now. Don't you know anything? Just throw me in a cell. Someone is in a cell. So yeah, sir. Someone is in a coma. I don't think you were stealing base out of greed. If you were, why would you only take half the money? So I want to offer you a chance to tell us why you stole the money. You know what the money in the safe was used for, right? It was charity money, but I don't know which charity it was for. The charity run by the Eubank estate. They raised money for a local orphanage. I have to say, stealing money from orphans doesn't paint you in the best light. Every year, Mr. Obank raises uh, money for the charity, but he's been lying how much he receives. The amount they raise and the amount that goes to charity are different. Chandra helped with the fundraising, and she figured out there was a discrepancy. Hold on. If he's wealthy enough to have a charity, why is he stealing money from it? Hold on, Miss Assistant. None of this is proven. She lied once again. You need to... Or she lied once already. We have to take everything with a grain of salt. Still, why would he keep the charity money in a safe? Wouldn't a bank account be safer? Banks keep records. If he was ever audited, the records would reveal what he did. You banks... Uh, own one of the largest investment firms in the country. They know how to avoid leaving any paper trails. But why would he give Miss Lear the coat to the safe? Well, I, I don't really know. Chandra never told me. So why did the two of you get involved? Chandra couldn't accept what was going on. He told me what was going on and what her plan was. So I agreed to help her. And what were you planning to do with the money after you stole it? Well, we didn't figure that part out. We didn't expect to get caught so quickly. You know, if you told me that you had planned to anonymously donate the money, I would have almost respected this little plan. Regardless, and we'll still have to charge you. Charge me? But please, at least let Chandra off with a lighter sentence. I was the one who stole the money. All she did was open the window and safe. I know you'll go arrest her after this, but you have to understand that. Uh... <gasps> <laughs> that fucking... A fucking YouTube react ass face. <laughs> oh no, she doesn't know. I'm sorry, Miss York. We have some bad news. We got a call from the Eubank estate this morning. Miss Lear was attacked and is in critical condition. Oh. <laughs> I can't decide which YouTube YouTube react face to use. <laughs> Probably gonna edit it to use both. No, you're joking, right? You're, you're trying to get me to say more? Well, you'll be charged with larceny. I'm afraid, pending further investigation, you're also being held under arrest for attempted murder. What? No. Why would I try to kill Chandra? Her best friends. I would never hurt her. I believe you, but you don't have a choice right now. You'll be detained until further notice. I can assure you, however, that your cooperation won't go unnoticed. You have the legal right to a public defender. If your case goes to court. To hell with a lawyer! <laughs> Fuck lawyers! <laughs> I don't need no blue-suited asshole coming in yelling objection. You're, you're evil. Both of you. Everything they say about cops in the city. Corrupt, heartless monsters. What the fuck? I'm sorry. It would be your, in your best interest if you don't speak to us further without a lawyer. The two of us should best be going now. 
I wish I could do more for you, Hannah. My apologies, Miss Smith. That wasn't something I planned on having you see. Oh, I... Wait a second. You actually used my name. Yeah, dang. You're hereby free from being my assistant. You can go back to your normal duties. If it means anything, you certainly did well back there. If you already knew everything, why did you need me in the first place? When Ms. Earl told me uh, how you found that clue, I decided I wanted to test your critical thinking skills. Looks like I was right to test you. You solved the case like a pro. I hope you didn't mind me having a bit of fun in there. Given how things ended, I wouldn't call any of that fun. I know. She... Ah. Oh man, I'm tired. My consciousness is slipping. I'm a little tired, boy. I know. She meant most of that for me, not you. Either way, I don't want you to have to face any more of that because of me. But what are you going to do now? Her best friend nearly died, and she's our number one suspect. I'm going back to the crime scene to try and clear her name. So, if you'll excuse me. Hold it! I never agreed to stop being your assistant. Anna said something I want to see for myself. I might not be a police officer, but please, take me with you. I think I've borrowed you from Miss Earl long enough. Keeping you away any longer would only anger her and risk your job. You, you really think I'm that quick to boil? <gasps> it's Soupy! <laughs> Miss Earl! Uh, wait, how much did you hear? Enough to have an opinion on the matter? Ernest, take her with you. If you think she can help you solve the case, it would be foolish to not let her see the crime scene. Soupy doesn't boil that quick. Yeah, exactly. Soupy is a solid simmer. I'll make sure Hannah is treated well until you solve this case. Are you sure? What about Justina's duties here? Her paperwork can wait. She can always work overtime. You just want me to stay overtime on my first day. Would you rather stay here and miss all the fun? All right, deal. I'll go. Good. You look after her, Ernest. It's still only her first day. Up, up, up. Yes, absolutely. Well then, Miss Assistant, you ready to go? Sir, yes, sir. Perfect. Here's the keys. I'll show you to the car. Wait. You want me to drive? Yes, of course. I'm drunk as hell. <laughs> Besides, it's good to test your driving skills. You never know when you might need... <laughs> you might be in a highway chase. Honestly, this is just giving me L.A. Noir vibes now. I'm, I'm here for it. Cole Phelps in this shit. Time to go destroy half of L.A. driving around. And that's how my relationship with Detective Hunt began. I went from a desk job to field work in a matter of hours, all because of one small contradiction. Little did I know how much this single case was going to change my life forever. End of case one. Thank you for playing the demo. Please look forward to the full game. I am looking forward to the full game. If you have the time, we appreciate it if you fill out this form. What is this form? Oh God. Oh God, it's a feedback thing. All right. Okay. What do we got here? All right. Was, per was paper perjury fun to play? Strongly agree. It was great. Were the puzzles satisfying to solve? Yes. I do think they were fairly satisfying. I, it's it's one of the hard things to tell because like the guesswork was super easy. Well, like I should say the, the contradictions were super easy, but it didn't quite feel fully like logical towards the end bit, but that's fine. 
Was there anything that confused you or felt out of place? No, not really. No. Is there anything you wish was in the game? Do we wish that driving around the city was in the game? <laughs> um, I don't really... Petting dogs, yes. <laughs> and cats. I feel like... Hang on, hang on. There you go. <laughs> you can befriend a cat in the game. It's already in the game. I'm just gonna... Uh, there we go. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna add that. Befriend a dog. Next. Plot. Did you feel engaged with the mystery? Yes, I did. Does the story feel very cohesive? Yeah. Each character felt unique from each other? Um, I'm gonna answer like just agree because they were clear from each other, but it, like it's very hard to tell at this stage. Uh, yeah, like I wanna know what happened. I super wanna know what happens. However, it, it's a little bit difficult to this guy. Like Ernest and Soupy felt very similar as far as characters go. They're very much the experienced cop. One is a little bit more jokey and the other one is a little bit more serious. But like, it, it was a little bit, it's not hard to distinguish between the two, but like the two characters felt pretty, pretty blended to me. Um, is there any character you wish had more screen time? Nope, and nope. I like the amount of screen time that every character got. We were only introduced to four characters, well, Five characters, I guess, if you count the one in a coma. But, you know, as far as the demo goes. Was the art cohesive with, uh, throughout the game? Yes. Strongly agree. It was super cohesive, little pixel art. It was great. Uh, was it easy to follow where characters were looking? Interesting. I didn't pay attention to that at all. But yeah, I, I still agree. There was never a time where it felt like, you know, uh, they were breaking the proverbial, like, line. Um, it never felt like they crossed the line on that one, where, you know, a character is looking to the right and then another character looks like they're looking to the right, but they're supposed to be talking at each other. Uh, was the art style enjoyable? Strongly agree. It was great art style. I greatly enjoyed the small details, like when she smacked the table, the pen and paper lifted up a little bit. I was here for that. Oh, did the music appropriately match the tone of the scene? Fuck yeah, it did. Sound effects match the actions? Yes. Uh, sound effects were all on time. I never heard anything off. So, like, it's one of those things. If my brain didn't notice, it was probably on time. My ears are pretty good for timing. Yeah, the music ramped up as the interrogation went on. It was great. Do you have uh, experience with visual, visual novels? I've played through one or two in the past. Uh, have you ever played any of these games? Well, looks like... Oh, I did play Murder by Numbers. Huge props to Murder by Numbers. Murder by Numbers is, is great. Wait, was it Murder by Numbers? The uh, murder... Yeah, Murder by Numbers. Great game. Huge recommend on that. If you're a big fan of nonograms, this is the fucking game for you. It's so good. Ah. Uh, happy brain juice. Happy, happy brain juice goes on here. Maybe I just play this. <laughs> Maybe I need to play Murder by Numbers on stream. <laughs> Anyway, I've played Murder by Numbers. Uh, I've never dang in a rompa though. I maybe played Ghost Trick Phantom Detective, but I don't really remember it. Uh... <laughs> Games similar to the ones above, but not listed. Yeah. Yeah. 
uh, a certain L.A. Noir run around as Cole Phelps. I definitely played that. Uh, anything else you would like us to know? There we go. You made a fantastic demo. Keep up the good work. L.A. Noir mentioned? Yeah. Kind of mention L.A. Noir. All right, I'm gonna finish this up. Thank you, Paper Perjury. That was great. There we go. I had the time and I filled in the form. What happens if I click case two? Nothing really. Ah, there we go. Also, look at this fucking art. Hmm, this is beautiful. Love it. And also, the only one with the fucking options menu. Ah, <laughs> uh, self voice. Self voicing enabled. Oh. Self voicing stand. Clip. Self voicing standards. Clipboard voice. Clipboard voicing enabled. What's this do? Self voicing standard select. Self voicing disabled. Okay. I don't know what self voicing enabled. Oh, self voicing standard selected. Is that just when I'm in clipboard, clipboard menus, it'll voicing, clipboard. voice it? Self voicing standard selected. And this is like all the time kind of thing? Clipboard voicing clipboard. Clipboard voicing clipboard. Mute all. Se self voicing disabled. Okay. That's cool. They uh, actually have sound options for like visually impaired. That's, that's really awesome. Even in the fucking demo, that's really cool to include. Here for it. Here for it. All right. That is actually all the demos I had prepared for today. 